Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Keith James Dunn, aka The Broker Guy. Thank you for checking this video out. We're on step number eight, make your website sexy. So as you can see here, we are at approveeligible.com. This is the final, what we're working towards with all these steps, website. So we're going to make this, your website currently look like this one. So currently we're at verifiedapprovals.com. That's our current progress. What we're going to do is make this one look like this. So let's jump in. So what you want to do first, head over to bluehost.com, log in, go to the My Sites, and then scroll down or just click into your site. And then on the top right, you'll see Edit in Builder, Edit Site in Builder. Then it'll take you right to this page. So we're going to start in the first section. What we want to do, go to background. You want to replace this image. So you want to go into the search stock photos and search for the city that you're working in or whatever your site is for. Uh, for us here, it's Detroit. So I picked this picture, a nice little picture of downtown and the Detroit River. Go to use image. There you go. Now we got the image right there. And we want to take this to 40. There we go. And then if you go into animation, you can have it animated. So you'll see actually start to zooming in. What I'm gonna do is actually shrink this one a little bit. So go back to settings, full page, unclick that. And then now you have a section size that is much better. Let's go to the next section here. Again, you wanna click into background, image, select. And you can select anything you'd like. I personally like this one. You type in houses when you're searching. Get this one, use image. Now if you scroll down, I wanna make sure this is at 80. Then make sure you fix this image as well. And then how we have this curve. I do like the curve. You can change it up if you want. But I'm gonna flip it so that the curve is on that side. All right. Hop down to the next section here. And you can go into background, image, select. You can search stock photos. Houses already pulled up. Pull up the same image that you used on the previous one. I'm gonna fix this. Keep it at 80. Now, when you actually visit the website, these two will actually be just one flowing picture down. So I'm going to go down here, do the same thing. Oops, select. Fixed overlay. Take that to 80. All right, next section, same thing here. Background, image, select. Search stack photos again, click the one you already used. I'm going to fix this one. Done overlay, put that at 80. 
the reason I'm putting it at 80 is so you can see the white text here. So you don't want to take away from the text on here with a picture. So now you can see that is flowing all the way through. So now you can go to save. Always make sure you save your work. So countless times I uh, have exited without saving and it doesn't help very well. So now we want to go to about. So just the next page, click into this section. Background, image, select. Now again with this one, I found a nice picture that I personally liked for the city of Detroit. Um, I would suggest finding something for your city that works for you. Again, the image doesn't have to be anything crazy. You don't even have to have an image, uh, but it just does make it look a little bit, a little bit sexier. But you also want to make sure that you black it out enough that it doesn't take away from this section. Because ultimately, what we want people to do is click this button. That's what we want people to do. So I'm going to bring the focus to this button. Now, go to the next section. Background, image, select. Then you can stick with the housing theme or what I'm gonna do is take my homepage picture and actually put this one on here. I wanna take the overlay. Take that to 70 and you want this fixed. Next section down here, same thing. So I can try the same picture. Fixed, overlay. All right, so right now it doesn't look like these pictures are going to be the same, but when you publish it and go to the website, these will actually just be flowing. So let's be one big picture here. Also in this section, what I wanted to do is add that curve that we have. So if you go into background divider, the curve pops up and I like it to be the other way. Actually, you know what, on this one, it looks much better to keep it like that. So we're gonna keep it like that because it kind of goes over the city. Um, pick the one, the curve or divider that looks the best with you know the pictures that you chose. And then I also got rid of this on the other site. I know I told you to add that section, but what we really want people to do, we want to take all the attention up here. Plus your social is already right down here. So you want people to just stay focused on this section. All right, so we're gonna save that again. Now we can go to the contact page. We're gonna do the same exact thing here. So you click into this section, image select, And same image. And this one you want it to be, this one makes it a little bit bigger. Um, but again, depending on what image you choose, um, pick the one that works for you. Um, you can do the animated. But again, I don't want to take away focus from this button. So that's why I stick with that. Click, oh, and then we'll do the overlay. 70. There we go. Look into this section, background, image, select. 
use that same image that I used on the previous page. Fix this one. Overlay 70. The divider. Get that curve in there. Perfect. I'm going to save that. And one more thing I wanted to add here. I don't think we added in. A little icon. I like this little icon here. That'll work. All right, so now we're going to publish. And we're going to check out the page. So now this one looks much better than what it did before. This is where we were at before. This is where we're at now. So like I said, that is zooming in there, that animated. You scroll down, this picture stays fixed in the background, but your content moves as you scroll. And then you know what? I don't like this section. So I'm gonna go back in here. I'm just gonna exit. Back to the home. Click on here. We're just gonna do a color, no pattern. Well, if you want to add a pattern, I would suggest adding this one. So again, it doesn't take away from anything. At 35 strength, you can see a little bit of the, the dots right there. I'm going to publish that. I want to check it out again. Picture stays fixed in the background. That looks much cleaner than that pattern that was on there. About section. That's much better. Picture stays fixed in the background, which is cool. And you want to just draw people's attention to this on every page that you go into. Right here. Same picture in the background. So that is how you make your website sexy. Again, please always, always, always like and share and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna get into step nine, into the privacy policy and adding the equal housing opportunity to the website. Um, just some kind of cleaning up things, but pretty much right now we are almost ready to completely launch this site. We're just gonna do a couple of touch-ups for step nine, maybe step 10, I might combine them. Let me know what you think. Again, my name is Keith James Dunn, AKA The Broker Guy. Thanks so much.